Well, shoot, good to see you here today. I'll, I'll just stop right there. Uh, yeah, so that was, uh, for those of you that missed the last video, you should probably go check that video out. I, I go through a bit of a, a hack, if you will, pertaining to a, a shop vac. But today we're kind of going back to our usual stuff. We're going to go ahead and do a hair and beard cleanup. Now, at this point in time, I am at that awkward stage in regard to hair length, but it is for a reason. I do love, or I did love rocking the buzz cut because there's no maintenance involved whatsoever. But again, because of a project that's coming up in September where I have to have hair on my head. Well, let me tell you what I talk, let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, let me show you the before. And so that's essentially what we're working with. Also, the tools that we're gonna be using today, we're gonna to be using hair clippers with a number two attachment, a number three attachment. We're gonna be using a straight razor, and we're also gonna be using the Beard Struggle, Beard Balm, and Beard Oil, along with a three mirror setup. Though this isn't three mirror, Setup isn't necessary, you can use a handheld, but I lately I've been using that and it makes things a lot easier. But yeah, we're gonna hop right into this. Let's rewind it to the beginning. As you can see, we're definitely at that awkward stage in regard to the hair length, but this cleanup should and will fix the situation at hand. Right now, my length on top of my head is around in regard to attachment length, it's a number seven, which is seven eighths of an inch or 22 millimeters. And I'm going to be using a number two, which is a quarter inch or six millimeters. And I used to use a band to trace along the side of my head, but now I find it easier to simply just go right above the ear and do a slight curve down. The number two is at the longest setting on the clippers and then we're going to fade it up top with a number three at the shortest length. And right around the ear is what we do to trace and do the same thing on the other side and we have a little bit coming off. I'm keeping this relatively subtle for the time being and the near future we're going to eventually do a skin fade on the side and keep the length up top and this is for a project in September for those of you that don't know. And right here I just go up to where I was going across if that makes sense. There we go. Same thing on the other side. And now to get the hair a lot better, we're going to go forward and again, still following that same line. And this will clean up later. Super simple. I'll just take the attachment off and just do a straight line across. All right, we have our guideline, so to speak. We have that started. Now we're going to head over to the mirror and I'm going to clean up all the way around the back. Now that we have this bottom portion cleaned up, we're going to take this curve and straighten it out a little bit and go straight to the back with not as much of an incline as the first part. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Alrighty. So now that we are finished going around with a two at its longest length, let me do a 360 to show you. So hopefully you're able to see that. Again, two at its longest length. Now I'm going to take the two off and I'm going to put the number three attachment on. And with this three attachment, I'm going to set it at the shortest length. And this is going to help reduce the contrast between the two lengths. And I guess it's more or less uh, going to give it a taper look. I think that's the correct terminology in, in regard to taper versus fade. Yeah, we're going to go with taper. Here we go.
Now that we've gone around with the three at the shortest length and we've brought down the contrast, I'll do another 360 and show you. Now we're going to take off the three. I'm gonna go ahead and put back on the two. Now initially we used the two at the longest length. I'm gonna put it at the shortest length and I'm going to just flick at the bottoms just to clean up around the bottom a tad bit. Just doing a little, little clean up right here at the sideburns. Just like that. Now we're gonna head over here and I'm going to use a set of clippers and I'm just going to line myself up around the back of the neck and the side of the beard. Let me show you a before of the neckline so then you can see the difference that it will make. Here and right here. Alrighty, so here's what it looks like now. Quite clean. Now, when it comes to the back, it's all a matter of preference. Some people like it rounded, some people like it squared off, some people like to come in drastically. But again, I like to keep it subtle and as relatively normal as possible. We're done with this. Now, we are going to go ahead and like I was saying before, I'm just gonna clean up around the ears a little more. So let me get my scissors. Scissors check. And there we go. Next up, I'm gonna jump in the shower, rinse myself off, and then we're gonna attack the beard. Be right back. Actually, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to line up my sideburns. I'll do that right now. Really simple, grab my clippers again. And you know what? In regard to the clippers and the other clippers that I use, I'll have them all in the description box below if you wanna check them out, if you wanna get a pair for yourself. Uh, but they are nothing special. So again, straight across, I actually angle mine down just a tad bit to go with the beard line or the cheek line. All right, now to the shower. All righty, shower is done. Again, here's where we're at. Quite a difference thus far uh, right now. So we're gonna go to the beard, but before we go to the beard, I am going to use the beard balm, not only in my beard, but also in my hair. Two birds, one stone. I tried it before and I actually like the way that it looks. So that's what we're gonna do. And we're just now getting to the length to where I actually should start putting product in my hair. Product in hair, now to the beard. First thing that we're going to do with the beard is we're going to use a straight razor for the cheek lines. When you're using a straight razor, you wanna make sure that you're using a new blade. This isn't new, so I'm gonna be taking a big chance right here because it does give you razor burn if it's not a new razor. Nonetheless, we're gonna go anyways, and there's a couple things that you wanna do when using a straight razor. You wanna make sure that you are holding your skin taut above where you are um, trimming, and you also want to have your straight razor at an angle, hopefully you can see this. So skin is taut and I'm just going down. Now what I'm gonna do is, that's just for an example, what I'm going to do is move over to this mirror back here and line it up how I usually do because right here I can't really tell what I'm cutting and I really don't wanna mess up at this point. So here we go. Hopefully those two pointers will help you out in regard to using the straight razor. Before I do this, I should probably show you what my beard looks like right now before I really get too into it. This right here, again, you should be able to see that it's not really a clean line right now. And then we have this right here. Alrighty. So again, sorry that you couldn't see that, but I wanted to go over there and do it so it'd be more precise. But here is the after. 
and hopefully I'll be able to plug in the before maybe right on the side right here and show you the difference between the two and what a drastic difference it can make just from simply cleaning up your cheek line, whether it be with a regular razor or a straight razor, but I do find it a lot easier to do the cleanup with a straight razor. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab some scissors and trim around my beard. Now I do this because in the past, I have let my beard grow out and I didn't maintain it at all. And it did get long, but at the same time, it looked very stringy because there were a few strands here and there that would grow faster than the rest of the beard. So this time around, I am keeping those strands up with the rest of the beard, keeping it up tight. And it's making my beard look a lot fuller than it has in the past. So, um, so yeah, so I guess a, a pro tip, if you're wanting to have your beard look more full, try trimming up the stragglers underneath. So scissors right here, nothing special. And I'm just going around the sides or the bottom right now, and then I'll go around the side. And what I'm doing is just trimming it's a very subtle trim but it does again it's one of those things that it's just a subtle modification but it makes a big difference in the overall appearance which is a common theme for today i guess just picking out the ones that are longer than the rest of the beard <laughs> this becomes an addiction it's like man, that's that's uh I, you know what i'm gonna stop myself right here yes it becomes an addiction you kind of get ocd but do not get carried away. And as soon as that thought comes to mind, just stop what you are doing because if your goal is to let your beard grow out, you don't wanna get carried away and trim it all the way up. Now that the beard is trimmed up, we are down to the final couple steps. We have here my beard oil. This is the beard struggle and the scent is Ragnarok. It's, a, it's an amber woodsy vibe to it. it can almost replace a cologne but it's more subtle than that which i like so a couple drops bada boom bada bing four drops is what i use again you can i mean you can use more okay and with the beard oil you want to make sure that you not only rub it in your beard hair but the priority is to rub it into your skin to help keep your skin moisturized there we are i'm just gonna Keep this quick for now. Now we are going to grab the beard balm once again. Now in my case, or I guess more so my preference is to use the beard balm in my mustache. And I do this because it helps maintain the structure of my mustache because now that it's getting longer, it tends to kind of get straggly or fray at the end. So this keeps everything together. I don't really like hooking it, but I do like maintaining that structure. So there we go. And then with the excess, I will rub that into my beard. And voila. And there we go. Now, again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the before, and we are definitely at that awkward stage in regard to hair length, but just doing a simple cleanup around the ears, your neckline, touching up your beard can make a tremendous difference, more so improvement on your overall presentation while you're going through the awkwardness. Well, I mean, it helps a little bit at least in my opinion. But yeah, as always, I hope that you found this video helpful, perhaps intriguing. If you did, please go ahead and give this a thumbs up and maybe even subscribe. Until next time, peace.